Sylvia, tell me about you, who you are, and... Uh... Okay, um, um, hello, my name is Sylvia Lopez, and I am a student at William C. Overfall High School here in San Jose, California, and I'm currently in my... Um, 12th, I'm currently in 12th grade, my senior year of high school. Great. Sylvia, tell me, why did Mr. Day, your teacher, chose you to be in our interview? Um, well, Miss, Miss Day, she chose us, us three to be in this interview today because she finds us like we have, um, we were, she finds us to have the potential um, role models and good leaders especially how we participated and we acted and showed our sportsmanship in during the tennis season and how we're doing um, in our education. So you are a tennis player now? Yes, I'm a tennis player. Okay, and how do you see yourself from 1 to 10 when you are in your school? I see myself at a, about a 9. I feel like I'm doing everything that I have to do in order to graduate this year and to get the best grades as possible. Wow, great. Sylvia, can you tell the reader what was the incident happened in your life that you would like to share with the readers? What are the things you should watch out when you're growing up? Well, one incident that happened in my life that changed me um, for, the be for the better was to um, be willing to try a, a, to learn another sport. Um, before, I played, um, I played soccer, but now um, I was willing to try to play tennis my sophomore year, and that sport changed me for the best. It's like I love the players that are in it and how much support they bring to me. And one thing that we, we should watch out when growing up is that life throws you so many obstacles that are sometimes always challenging to overcome. But the best thing that you could do is to um, never give up because anything in life is, is, is possible as long as you put the effort and work to reach for it. Great. What is that one thing you did that anyone can do to achieve what you have? Um, one thing that I do that anybody could do is to never lose confidence because if you lose your confidence, it's um, things are gonna be are gonna seem harder to accomplish. But once you gain that confidence in, in within yourself, it's you feel like you could overcome any obstacle that life throws to you. Who was the most influential person in your life besides your parents? Um, the person that has been um so influential to me would have to be my third oldest sister, Myra, because um, every time I feel I, I get down, I feel like she's always the person that brings me up. Like she tells me the most encouraging words that she could come up with. She tries to motivate me no matter what. When I would lose some of my tennis matches, like she was always there to comfort me, tell me it's okay, you just have to keep trying and try your best to practice harder to get better. Was there a teacher that inspired you in the classroom? Yes, and that would be my tennis coach. She's the one who has inspired me the most because she she always has this com um she always brings you gives you this confidence that no matter what situation you're in, she's always there to support anybody. Like she could bring support to a person that she might not even know. Like she believes in every student and in every capacity that they are, everything that they're able to accomplish in life. Wow, and what's her name? Miss Day. Oh, okay. She's also my tennis coach. <laughs> how will your friends react to your accomplishment and how it has challenged you? My friends' reactions to my accomplishment have been that like they um, tell me inspiring words and always encourage me and these friends that I truly love are my tennis um, teammates because even though I might be behind in um, my score, they're always there like, keep trying, you're doing good, they're always inspiring me and that gives me so much energy to um, play better, play better and even though I'm behind, I, I've been able to catch up and even win the game with their inspirational words. Wow, that's awesome. So what do you like to do when you're not in school? What I like to do when I'm not in school is to go to the park with my nieces and nephews and just play around the park, play soccer, play any sport that they're willing to play. 
because I feel like family is the most important thing. So tell me a little bit about you, Sylvia. Where are you going to go to school when you finish with this high school here? Um, well, what I want to do after high school is um, I want to go to San Jose State and major in liberal studies because I want to become an elementary teacher. Ah. And I want to actually finish my, um, my teaching credential within my four years with this new program that they're offering at San Jose State. So I, I hope that I get accepted within, um, to San Jose State and just um, be able to accomplish my dream. And I see myself in the classroom for four years. Or Coming five. back to William Orford? Coming back to teach at the William Orford High School? Going back to my elementary school. Okay. Because I want to become an elementary teacher. Awesome. Thank you. Sylvia, thank you for taking time to share your story. Thank you to everybody.